Hi guys, Hello Kitty from VRChat here. So I'm going to start a small tutorial series about the weird things you can encounter in VRChat or maybe the difficult things for beginners to search about related to Unity for performance optimization, blah blah blah. Focus on world building, not avatars. So today we've got a small little video to sort of describe how you can work around the issue with VRChat and Fog on Unity 3D Terrain. Now, I have to say this first. Don't use Unity 3D Terrain, it's terrible. You have to find something different. You know, if you've already got a project, good, you know, I guess, don't change it, but try to avoid it. It is not good, it hasn't been good for years. So, you have this fog in the terrain, and you're like, oh, that looks so great, you know, everything looks so great. And you'll have fog on your objects and stuff, whatever. Um, that's not the focus, but when you upload it to VRChat, there won't be fog on the terrain. Your objects will have fog, but the terrain won't, and so it'll look like a disaster. Now I'm going to show you a quick workaround to address that. So we'll click on the terrain, go to the terrain component, and click on the little gear cog, pull up the terrain settings, and what we're going to have to do is change the material. I didn't look yet. Um, oh yeah, here it is, material. So we're, we want this to be a custom material. And so now it's using a custom material, or will use a custom material shortly. But we don't have one yet, so what we're going to do is create a new material. And we'll just call it Train Material, and maybe with the scene name. This one is called Episode 1, you can call it whatever you want. And then go ahead and change the shader to Nature, and then Terrain. And we'll use the standard one, so it's going to be the same default one. As you see, there aren't any properties except the render queue that you can change. And we're going to go ahead and drag that onto the custom material slot. Boom, now we have a custom material, which is basically the terrain material. Which, yeah. So now we're going to upload this real quick. I want to make these videos quick, because they aren't going to be... They aren't going to be that useful, because they cover very specific things. At least this video does. And I know people are going to get bored. Especially with how ugly this scene is, no one wants to watch this video. The terrain looks terrible. <laughs> okay, so we'll upload this new version. Come on, come on. Okay. Oh, by the way, I'm not editing this. This is low-budget stuff. You know, if someone someone wants to edit this and spend time with this, sure, that's great. But there's more valuable things to do. All right, all right. Let's go. Let's see what happens. Wow, look how great that looks. Oh my god, we have fog now. Like, this looks so good. Um, so yeah, that's how you can work around the issue with fog in Unity 3D. Or it's not Unity 3D, it's VR Chat. Um, because if you go into play mode and you get editor, you know, everything's fine. I don't know why that happens. I haven't investigated, but that's one workaround. Don't use Unity 3D Train. Use something else. There's so many problems with this. It looks ugly. It never looks good. It's just terrible. But if, you ha if you're if you using it and you need fog, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll try to make more interesting, useful videos related to lighting, uh, performance, optimization, stuff like that. You guys know I make some pretty crazy stuff in Unity 3D, so watch out for that. Thanks for watching, guys.